so with Pride Weekend coming up shortly in Bermuda, did you ever think you'd see this day on this island? Did I think? <laughs> Absolutely not. Pride in Bermuda was the farthest thing from my mind because of the, the hostility towards the LGBTQ community. And so there was never really this, this realization in my head that we would even ever propose it. And I've been to a number of prides um, outside of Bermuda, but I just personally didn't think we were ready. But like everything, at some point, you just have to say, it doesn't matter if we're ready. It doesn't matter if it's the right thing to do at this time. Let's just get it done. So what made 2019 special as such? Um, I think two things for the organizers. One, they had gone away to a conference and they had talked to some people in Jamaica and, and the Bahamas, I think it was, and Barbados about pride that they had had there and how it came about. And I think they came back and they was thinking that they really wanted to do something special since it's the anniversary of the Stubb Spiel too. And so it was a combination of things and they were just like, let's do it. Why not? So what do you say to protesters? Um, of course, some have been very vocal. Was it to be expected? Of course. I would have been surprised if they weren't vocal. In fact, I would have been worried if they weren't vocal because given all of the hype around everything around the LGBT community, if marriage equality, about how some felt about the Buju concert, um, how people feel about the community on a regular basis, of, of course I expected some pushback. Mm -hmm. um, do you know, I mean, over social media, there have been some threats and some very, um, hurtful and even threatening remarks being made on social media. Overall, do you think that there is any concern or worry that someone may attempt to be violent? I think that realistically, anytime someone makes a suggestion of violence, we have to be concerned. When people talk about, you know, people should bring their guns and, and, and boom bye bye and those con those comments are usually associated with violence right and so when people make those comments when people like those comments when people encourage the, that comment then I think that we should be concerned am I concerned I'm always concerned about my safety until we arrive at this place in the world where uh, people can just allow people to live their own truth then I think that I'm always going to be slightly themselves, i.e. we're not rapists, we're not pedophiles, you know, we're not um, predators. Do you think that day will come? You know, I had a very scary conversation with some young people recently, and you know what they said to me? They said, you know what, half of these problems with racism, with uh, homophobia, with uh, misogyny, all of those things, they're all going to disappear when all your generation dies off. And that was a scary conversation with me, for me because it, it, it almost felt like they were saying to, to me and to our generation that we are the problem, right? And that they are prepared to just let people live their life. They seem so much more evolved and I, I found it disturbing. I hope that's not the case because I believe there are enough people alive who, who absolutely believe in human rights, who absolutely believe that everybody has the right to be happy and love who they want to love. And I believe there are enough people alive today to make that happen, but I just don't know. Now, um, there's supposed to be a counter march on the same day as the Pride March. Your thoughts? Listen, marching, parading, protesting, it's a, it's a democratic right. Right? And people have a right to express themselves. My only hope is that um, anybody that's involved in any type of counter-protest doesn't have any ill intent. And without any Ill, uh, Ill intent, I'm not worried. I've been to Pride marches in New York and I've seen protests. I've been to Pride marches in Atlanta and seen protests. So that's, that's not new for me. But I also know that those protests were done in a, in a respectful way and no one ever intended to bring any violence. And so I, I, I encourage people to express themselves. What do you think is the biggest misconception about Pride Weekend in Bermuda? 
I think that because people have gone online and Google Pride and seen some, seen some things that they don't feel is appropriate, that they automatically think that's going to happen in Bermuda, right? This is our first Pride Parade. We are certainly not advocating any um, untowards behavior. And also, Bermuda have very, very clear laws about, laws about nudity and how people dress in the city of Hamilton.